we need to normalize failures. Because think about it. Whenever we are talking to someone, consciously or subconsciously, we are always trying to sell ourselves. But aren't failures the real teachers in our lives? Recently, Ankur Variku posted his failure resume on his YouTube channel. He's an entrepreneur and an ISB alum. And I was so inspired by that video that I knew that I absolutely had to create a version of it on my channel as well. I'm going to leave a link of that video in the description box in case any of you are interested to watch it. Go and watch it. It's so, so inspiring. But today's video is going to be a bit of my life story, but focusing on the low points of my life. So let's begin. Hi guys, welcome to Insider Gyan. My name is Somi. I'm an IT Delhi and ISP Hyderabad grad and for the last eight years I've been working in consulting and banking and on this channel through my experiences as well as my network I try to bring to you some college, job, career related advice so that you can take informed decisions. So if that's something that interests you please subscribe to the channel. Now on the surface it might seem like I have a decently well profile and honestly, I'm very proud of all my achievements as well. But today's video is not going to be about those things. It is going to be about all the low points, all the failures that I've faced to even reach each of those smaller milestones. The story dates back to the small town in West Bengal. It's called Durgapur. That's where I studied for the first five to seven years of my life. I was an average student. Nothing really stood out. But when I was in fifth standard, that is when my father took up a job in the PSU and he got posted in a really remote location in Madhya Pradesh. The name of the place is called Guna and I'm sure a lot of you might not even have heard of it. There was a small school in the township where I took admission. As soon as I took admission, all of a sudden, I felt like a big fish in a small pond, which meant that whatever I took up, I pretty much excelled at it, be it studies or extracurricular activities, because I have always been a very creatively driven person, music, dance, uh, debating. So fifth to tenth standard, the sort of doing well at everything had become a habit. And then the first milestone was 10th standard came board examinations. So since I was a good student, ye sochna kafi obvious tha ki 90% se upar number to aane hi wale hai. And it was not even very unrealistic given how I was performing in school th those days. But results I and I had an 87 percentage. And it's such a small thing today when I look back at it. But at that point of time, I felt like the whole world, my dream world, had crashed around me. I still remember summer vacations chalrethe and I dug my face in a pillow and cried for three days straight. Did not feel like eating anything, slept quite a lot, did not feel like getting up from the bed at all. And when I went back to school after the summer vacations, I felt so guilty that I couldn't see my teachers eye to eye. I felt like I had let them down and how. Now, as a person who had been fed the information that 10th or 12th me acha kar liya, to life set hai. You know, this felt like a personal failure. I was so young, but still it felt like I did not have a future because at that age, you don't even know what's coming up. And honestly, I was in a very small town. Internet bhi itna zada nahi tha un dino mein. So it's not like I had a lot of exposure ki ye kar sakte hai, wo kar sakte hai. Anyway, life always moves on. So I started doing my 11th and 12th. Coursework started to become a little difficult. Math used to be my favorite subject. So I always excelled at that. But the other subjects were like, ah, uh, okay. The next aim was to get into one of the IITs. Because again, sare smart but che IIT to jate hai. So I studied a little bit. Uh, I won't say I was doing great at the practice examinations. For GK jo exams nahi hota the, usme mujhe to yaad nahi hai zero ya one se zada number kabi aaye ho. Anyway, I appeared for the exams, uh, all the entrance exams. Got a very good four digit rank in AI Tripoli, but J ka prelims bhi nahi clear hua. Now, honestly, isolation may I did not take it as a big failure because I was very clear in my head that 11th or 12th, I need to experience the school life 
fully like like i said i was very creatively driven so i wanted to do all the creative stuff that, because iske baad to pata nahi kabhi wo sab hone wala tha ki nahi but you know what happens when you get a good rank somewhere else all of a sudden everyone around me my neighbors my relatives they thought that they had a huge say in my career choices and all of a sudden there was so much pressure that especially as a girl you shouldn't drop this year and that pressure and that outside noise can really get on to you us time pe confidence ekdam se chala gaya like like self doubt started creeping in but i guess my will to get into an iit was so strong that i cancelled all that noise and had immense amount of support from my parents so finally decided to go to kota and study there for a year it was a very stressful year ek to kota ka environment if any of you have studied there you will know that it's a very competitive and honestly a very toxic environment people think of nothing other than entrance examinations be it engineering or medical over there and uh, you know the coaching institutes so there they depending on how well you do in their uh, practice examinations they put you in different levels of batches the good batches get better teachers and so on and so forth i clearly remember because of my test re- results this one time i was demoted from an r2 batch to an r4 batch and it was somewhere in the middle of the year and i remember again breaking down thinking that j to hone nahi wala there's no plan b at all ab main kya karungi but eventually some sense prevailed and i realized ki plan b to hai nahi so there's really no where for me to go but forward so i kept preparing and um, everything went well i cleared iitj exams with not the rank that i was expecting but still i it was decent enough for me to get a seat in iit delhi so i was happy so college shuru hone ke pehle somehow mujhe aisa lagta tha ki iit mein to sare padhaku bacche aayenge and all these creative elements that i have i'll probably never be able to explore them but then came the first week in iit and when i got in i realized that yahan to bacche har cheez mein acche hai they are not only the smartest in studies but they have represented uh, their school at national level for sports for extracurricular activities they had great flowery personalities and mind you this was also the first time i was in such a big city all of a sudden so that feeling of going from being a big fish in a small pond to being a small fish in a big pond sort of hit me hard and i took my own sweet time to adjust to it and first term khatam hua and i had a gpa of 6.0 probably fair to say that it's below average and i want to say i was shattered because tab tak failure ki kafi aadat ho chuki thi but i was not able to get my head around ki aisa ho kaise gaya मतलब इतने बुरे नंबर तो आज तक कभी नहीं आए सो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग लाइक हाउ विल आई एवर बी एबल टू कम्पीट विद सच स्मार्ट माइंड्स एवर इन माय लाइफ आई एम आई इन द रॉन्ग प्लेस दोज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सेल्फ डाउट क्रीप्ड इन अगेन एंड आई हैड टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ स्टेप्स टू सेल्फ हेल्प एंड कम टू टर्म्स विद द फैक्ट कि भैया ऐसा ही होने वाला है दुनिया ऐसी ही है सो द सूनर यू अडेप्ट योर द बेटर फॉर यू so theek hai paanch saal was a good roller coaster ride made some great friendships learned a lot and ended the degree with marks which were i would definitely say were above average by now then from getting out of iit to getting into isb there were quite a few ups and downs i started working in a market research company but as soon as i started working there I realized that I am really not good at research. <laughs> I suck at research. So I started looking for other jobs, ended up in an investment bank as an equity analyst. Really enjoyed that role. Uh and then I went to ISB. Over there, I had learned a lesson. I was very sure that now I need to focus on my GPA and not let my mind distract with other like extracurricular activities and all the other things that I really liked doing. and looking back i definitely think that because i was chasing gpa so much there were a lot of life and learning aspects at isb which i which i missed out on and if i had a chance to go back then i would definitely focus on those things rather than just trying to get a better gpa very very soon the placement season 
came because ISB is a one year degree and time just passes by. Placements get time. It's funny that I have been in management consulting for the last six years, but I did not want to do management consulting. I want to do a general management or a leadership program kind of a role in one of the industries. But a lot of those companies did not shortlist me. Some of them who had shortlisted me did not find me good enough on day one. And honestly, I did not have enough courage in me uh, that time to sort of leave a day one placement and wait for day two. So I took up that management consulting job that I was offered. I started working as a management consultant. I traveled quite a bit and I honestly started liking whatever I was doing. It was great exposure. I was working with the top CXO level people in companies. It was a great learning experience overall. But then after my first project happened, I got a really bad rating. Not because I had done bad in that specific project. Everyone really appreciated my analytical skills and those kind of things. But the feedback that I was given was I really did not take any additional effort to be visible in front of the leadership so that they knew me. And as someone who was coming from an investment banking background, I couldn't process that because I was like, calm, but rating because I did not network with people is that life is that how consulting is am i a good fit for this role at all but you know what i took it in a positive way in all my next projects i despite being an introvert i pushed myself out of my comfort zone tried to be more visible uh, with the leadership tried to talk to more and more people in the company and that has been a big learning because after getting this bad feedback is when i realized that you need people around you to mentor you, to guide you, to push you in the right direction. And, and most importantly, you need to learn from their trajectories as well. So that in the next few years has definitely helped me a lot. Next, I moved to Hong Kong. Things went smoothly in Hong Kong. I had a good two year stint, did good projects, got some good visibility. And then I moved to Singapore. It has been about four or five months that I've been in Singapore now and the last two months has been very stressful because in Hong Kong I was at a stage where I wanted to move out of a consulting role to the industry something that I wanted to do back in ISV but six years too late it's fine so without thinking anything much I had quit my job I served the notice period and I came here and then COVID happened so of course the job situation has been terrible during COVID when you are joining at a senior position the expectations from you are also very high so they look for specifically those kind of things which you have done in the past and being a consultant i was pretty much a generalist anyway i went through a lot of interviews i've been rejected like one or two times at very late stage interviews as well so yeah the last two months has been very stressful mentally but anyway uh, I think by the time this uh, video releases I would already have joined my new job uh, so hopefully everything's going to go well there who knows we'll see and I'm sure I have so many more failures big or small to see in the next few years as well because that's life and I just want to end this video by saying two things one is your failures are your failures don't let anyone define it for you and don't let anyone belittle you for it for example maybe you have decided that getting 95% in a particular examination is success for you but you get 90% and there'll be a lot of people who will come and tell you that are ye kya first world problem 90% I to hai isme itna rone ki kya baat hai I don't know about you but these kind of statements make me feel like people don't believe in me enough people are sort of asking me to settle for less and it makes me feel very bad so don't let that impact you people will say what they have to say own your failures crib and cry out a little bit but very very soon start analyzing what went wrong were your expectations unrealistic or maybe something that you did was not okay and then just work on yourself to do better next time that's how you progress secondly do not shy away from talking about your failures to people because failures are normal and you don't know with your failure story how many people you might end up inspiring to work on themselves and not think of failure as 
द एंड ऑफ लाइफ ओके काफी ज्यादा ज्ञान हो गया इस वीडियो में I'm going to stop here, but I really hope at least some of you found it useful or took away some inspiration from it because that was the idea. If you like this video, like कर देना, subscribe कर देना and bell button भी please दबा देना. And I'm going to see you in the next video super super soon. Till then, bye.